Hello and welcome to Shave and Butcher. Today's joke is an image. So uh, if through miracle I managed to edit the image into the video, probably not, this is how you make concentrated milk. Okay, so that probably failed, but what can you do? Okay, so my friend Ashad asked me to make a video about how to lather Mitchell's wool fat. In fact, he didn't ask me to make a video. He said, how do you lather Mitchell's wool fat? And I said, I'll make a video of it because content, right? So Mitchell's wool fat, an iconic soap from Bradford, in Yorkshire um, it changed the recipe so I've got the old soap which is tallow based there is a new one which I've heard people say is pretty good actually uh, so I don't know how that lathers because I haven't tried it but it comes in this ceramic bowl and you put the soap inside this is the only soap I bloom you don't have to it just speeds up the loading a little bit so oh, the water is out and I've got the soap here. I've got a brush. This is a synthetic, doesn't matter. The diehards uh, say you should use a badger. Ah, okay, that's fine. You can use anything. It's, uh, it's all the same. So, so I'll, I'll try and talk you through it. The most important thing uh, in lathering Mitchell's whole fat successfully is patience. You gotta be patient. You can't do it in the same way that you do other soaps because this one is, is really special. Um, so patience is, is a key thing and it takes a bit of time. So first up, you, you load it and the brush is moist and I'm squeezing all the water out. So you want it damp damp and nothing more and it's it's going to make a bit of a mess so i'm not sure i'll be able to do everything on camera but i load it and i load it god it's messy already i load it heavily so as you load it i'm gonna have to do it a bit down here because my soap is fairly new as well so there's not a lot of space in the bowl you load and you load and you load and as you load you get froth you just get this foamy thing and that's all right that's not really going to change i'm still loading loading very heavily because since it's hard and since there's a lot of froth you got to go at it bit longer than usual so you see that's all froth putting that on my face because there's no way no, no need to and no reason to put it away because it's the froth that you will be putting on your face so still loading still froth so you can see very very light pretty so loading very very thoroughly is key can you load too much well not really you just need to spend a bit more time on it than you would usually do and voila so it's all uh, it's very little substance in this if you put this on your face you can see how light it is looks like Mitchell's wool fat lathered for half an hour so what i do then is i i paint this froth onto my face i've done numerous videos about this so if you've seen one you've seen them all you don't have to go at go at it anymore still froth still looks ridiculous still looks like this is this is never gonna work. 
But as you paint the froth into your whiskers, you will gradually be removing it, the air that's in the froth. Now it's already starting to look a little bit more decent. So what you want to what you want to do is you want to get to you want to do this, paint this over and over, and again very lightly moisturized brush. Otherwise, it's just going to take forever. So it's got to be wet, but you squeeze all the water out of it. I just paint this froth over and over. And this is an important step because you, if you start by, you know, lathering the froth like you would a good modern oxen soap and you'd start adding lather and you, you just get, you'll just get lost. So I even have the odd piece of the soap there, which is not the end of the world. So it's almost dry, almost dry. So I'm trying to get to a, a texture that is as similar as possible to toothpaste. There you go. So you may say, that looks all right, I can shave with that. And you couldn't really, except if you're shaving with the tool I'm using today, which is my favorite razor, because that thing shaves with everything. But this is completely dry. Not really, but it's very dry. So now begins the process of adding a bit of water. So how you add water to your, to your brush doesn't really matter. I dip it under running faucet really quickly. You can also drip water onto it like this. You can have water in a bowl that you dip the tips of the brush into. The most important thing is don't add too much water At first instance, you want to you want to add a bit of a bit of water. So I've added quite a bit here, actually. Okay, so face number one, or water loading face number one done. So I vigorously work the lather and work the water into the lather. No shortcuts. But do it everywhere, everywhere that you have soap. You can't work just a portion of your face like you could with a really good artisan soap. So I've added quite a bit of water and now it's back to being quite dry. And you can see already volume has increased. So I'm adding a bit more water. And if, you're, if you don't know how much water to add, I can't tell you in milliliters or mega ounces or whatever your <laughs> your volume or weight measurement of choice is, but I'm, I'm adding a bit of water. Rather too little than too much. It takes more time, you have to do more phases. So this is phase number two of adding water. So work it in very, very carefully, or thoroughly, I should say. What changes from a minute ago, after water adding phase number one, is I have more volume, and the moisture content of the lather is slightly higher. So you start to get a few peaks, and you may say, that's good enough to shave with, but it isn't. So, on to, on to phase number three of the water adding process. Adding quite a bit of water, but very, very little at, at a time. 
So now you can start to see a bit of a shine. Um, I'm adding a little bit of water every time I dip the tips of the brush and then I work it in. And again, no shortcuts, work it everywhere. You can't do this, you know, too thoroughly. Just go at it. And just by adding water, I increase volume a lot. So nice peaks, right? Looks good. Looks like yogurty whipped cream. Looks like something you could shave with. But we're not there yet. We're adding water again. This is coating number four. There's no definite number of water adding phases. That's perfect because it does depend on how much water you add. And I add a little every time. Now working it in again. And I want to make sure the, the mix of water and lather is pretty perfect. And honestly, you, you can't do this. You can't do this too much. You can go at it for a minute, five minutes, 30 seconds. And you're not going to ruin the lather, except if you've added too much water. So how much is too much? Well, don't, don't test it. Don't try and add too much. Just do more cycles. Okay, so what does it look like now? Fantastic. So what was that, four? We're getting quite a bit of volume of lather. And that's Swedish tobacco leaking into the lather. <laughs> no good. So looks pretty good. I could shave with that. Most people could shave with that. But yeah, you know, let's do another one. So adding yet some water. Can you break the lather? Yes, you can. If you add too much water at any given time, but you can do many cycles. You can do, I haven't tried it, I think. But you can do 10 if you want to. So work it in properly. I mean, at the end of the day, you have a bucket full of lather. And if you loaded the brush enough, and you know, trial and error, you'll, you'll find out as you do it. So what is that? Five cycles of adding water. Looks pretty damn good. Now, when you shave with a straight razor, or the tool that I'm about to use, you want to have a lather that falls off the razor just by pure gravity. Now, that's good, I hope. Still a few bubbles in it. That's okay. You can break them down as well by rubbing your brush more onto your face, but you don't have to. This is good enough. How do I know? Well, because I've done it loads of time. So, the other, another answer to how do you lather Mitchell's full fat is try it many, many times. Wick Sexto Blade, probably best razor in the world. Now, when you put a bit of, you can see how voluminous the lather is. The test is, the test on whether you added enough water is 
Does it fall off the racer? Now, this one doesn't. So that's a bit on the dry side. But it still looks good. And it's not going to break down. So for me, a perfect ladder would have been at least one more section of adding water. But for most people, this will be pretty perfect. And it's not breaking down. Did that help at all? I hope so. Bit of a of a spot here, so that might come off a bit. And again, this is a bit too dry. I have to beat it in order for it to fall off the racer. Eventually, it will. But I could have added more water. But then I think my leathers are probably a bit drier, oh, wetter than most people. So. For most people, so that would would have, that would be just perfect. Had a long weekend. I was at a party yesterday with about seventy people, all from senior high school. So good friends. It was great. It was like a youth, young people's party, but for 50 year olds. So pretty much all of us turned 50 in the last year or two years. <clears throat> great fun. And I stuck it out until two o'clock in the morning, which is very late for me. Big attraction with Mitchell's Wolfat, I find, is that it's two things. One, it's been around since 1894 or something, 1893. Um, they claim they have the original formula. Of course, they don't, but they've tried, so important stuff in it is. Hello and lanolin. But the biggest attraction is that it requires an effort, a little bit of skill to get a good ladder. And I find that quite enjoyable. Now, I only use it when I have quite a bit of time because Every time I rush it, and I rush it quite often, the ladder isn't as, as good as it sh could be, and as good as it should be. So you gotta have the time, and you need to be very patient. And you've gotta work out your, your, your perfect ratio of water to soap. But it takes time. sound is great isn't it so if you don't have 10 minutes to build a ladder patiently observing it feeling it passing judgment you shouldn't use it and you can't rush it You must not rush it. So is this the best shaving soap in the world? Not at all. 
Got weepers all over. Weepers, creepers, bleepers. That's from being a little bit too tired when I'm shaving, so I'm making errors. That's why. It's not the razor. It's not the soap. It's not the lather, because that was pretty good. It's just not being careful enough when I shave. You can get a decent shave from almost any soap with almost any razor if you know what you're doing. So I'm bleeding heavily here, nice. So apart from my lacking skills, one reason I'm getting weepers is that my skin is very dry. Mainly owing from dehydration, because I was at a party yesterday. And today was the you know, late lunch, early dinner thing for my, my sister-in-law's husband. Does that make him my brother-in-law? Possibly. His 60th birthday, so a bit of traveling and collecting people and yeah, I was dead tired. It was nice though. But I am a bit too tired. To be shaving with this lethal thing and it's a fairly new um, kismet blade in it and those things will, will cut you this these aren't cuts it's all bleepers they will go away and i won't see them in the morning Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay, that was the shave. Let's let's see how it went. Apart from the claret. Extremely close. As close as I get with any razor. Beautiful shave. I'll be putting a bit of alum on this thing to close up the blood. Okay, I hope, Ashad, I hope that was useful. This is how I do it. Please ask me questions in the comments. Please give advice to me and to the others about how to lather Mitchell's full fat. Now it's gonna take a while to close up the, the leakage. I shaved too close to the skin again. Okay. Tomorrow's Monday, you know the drill. Let's get through Monday. Let's get through the week, try and survive and maybe have a bit of fun. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you soon. Stay sharp.